what's up buttercup so today we're back with another video and today i would like to make a series on darza's dominion for people who are coming back like me to the game now that it's on pc this is the first room you'll come to and this is the character selection room and you will have one slot and when you spawn in and over here it'll look like this create character create you will only have the mage unlocked we will create a mage you'll spawn into here this is called the nexus or um, the tavern it's a tavern over here this would be your vault and over here you got change character This is your name change. Here we have a storyteller that is not being used at the moment. We have Mr. Guild Boy. This is your guild. That's your guild hall. down here these are your cosmetics you know cloths as always in every game and skins as always as well you do not get to see these before you buy them you see them right there instead they don't show up on your character like the claws do over here we have Chad ugly <laughs> I hate Chad uh, here's the dungeon dweller section which is just pets keys backpacks etc these are temporary buffs not worth it at all loot drop boost that's pretty cool here's some keys elixirs of health that stack up to eight eh, not a huge not a huge fan they only stack to one in this game, so you have eight slots, and uh, you can only hold one pot in each. So this this will hold eight, and they're bigger and better health pots. Over here, you have a storyteller's relic, which is like um, just a really good ring, and it protects from death while equipped one time. This is a one-time thing. As soon as you die this item gets destroyed so you can see it is 10,000 fame and let me tell you that is quite a large amount of fame I have 3,000 dead fame this is your dead fame um, yeah it's not quite easy to get but if you can get them it's worth it you can keep your character alive for much longer and here's the weaker version of it um, it's 160 health, 160 mana, and no revival. And then this is a backpack, which will um, explain, expand your slots to double what you normally have. So you'll have 16 instead of just the normal 8. The pets are pretty cool. They do small buffs, very small buffs. Not like Realm, where you basically need a pet to live. Um, over here, this is kind of the grave section. It'll show you what they died with, what they died by, what they look like, all that kind of stuff. And then, bam! Killed by lava. And this is the all-famous DC. <sighs> Alright. The game just got to PC, so it is a little buggy once in a while. You will crash. This is the gold buying area, by the way. I did miss this. There's a tier 8 little wolf skin on the floor. You can buy gold there. I don't think it works at the moment. And the only way to get gold is by um, donating to Typical, I believe, on his stream. Or his PayPal. So this is the nice area here. 
I've never seen biggest shroomy. Biggest shroomy. Oh, wow, look at that set. 24,000 fame for one character is quite a lot. And then all the way up to, you know, 45,000. That's a lot. Up here, we finally made it. This is the realm. This is where you go in and you start killing things. And I will do another video on that later. I will do uh, basically an NPE. No, uh, you know, no pets, no none of that. And go from level 1 all the way up to level 20 and show you all the stuff in between. Thank you for watching today's video and peace out, buttercups.